People have always had fun with Oreo, the twistable, lickable, dunkable cookie. But after a hundred years, that fun was being taken for granted, and eating an Oreo cookie had become, well, routine. That led to a problem. Because while our 100th birthday celebration and big equity campaigns in 2013 and 14 had led to nice sales momentum, we had to make sure we kept the Oreo cookie rolling. This was especially important because as the leading cookie brand, if Oreo cookie sales were rolling, so was the entire category. Our objective? Re-energize the brand by showing our loyal shoppers that Oreo cookies could be used for more than dunking. It was an ingredient in fun. Our insight? After talking with shoppers and examining what they were doing, we realized they were posting fun shots of their DIY recipes online. And that told us they were ready for some inspiration from the cookie leader. It was time to play with Oreo. But how do you translate play into the world of Oreo cookies? We did it with dozens of inspiring recipes to show the delightful variety of options Oreo cookies can bring to the kitchen. Getting people to crush them, chop them, bake them, chill them, and just have fun. National media, PR, and digital programs got our recipes out to fans and encouraged them to make our creations and create their own to share with the world. And share they did, breaking out of a hundred-year cycle of routine. Most importantly, dozens of retailers joined in the fun. And we developed custom programs for several retailers, each with a special Oreo cookie recipe made just for their shoppers. First was Kroger. Their super moms know how to run a household and work around a busy schedule and are counted on to be the source of family fun. So we introduced the fun of an exclusive Oreo cookies and cream dip recipe in my magazine and inspired her on shopping apps and in-store sampling outside the cookie aisle. In no time, she was sharing her newest creation socially. For our Albertsons shoppers, nothing stops her in her tracks like amping up her social media sharing power. So we gave her something to help her show off her kitchen creations, a Polaroid cube camera. We told this mom to stop and play with Oreo, create a unique recipe, and post it for a chance to win a cube. We inspired her with the Albertsons exclusive Oreo Mallow recipe, featuring craft marshmallows, drove awareness with digital and in-store communication, and even got extra play from Polaroid, who promoted the program on their website. Next with Southeastern Grocers, we found these price-driven shoppers to be social, active online gamers, so we knew that was our hook. We got her playing an online game to win Oreo cookies, store gift cards, or Oreo cookie bake kits, and served our Southeastern Grocers customers an exclusive lemon Oreo apple crisp recipe. Finally, there was Walmart, where shoppers, despite being focused on their budget, love new and exciting ideas that help them make their families smile. They found the perfect solution with Oreo Let's Play. We introduced millions of shoppers to the exclusive Oreo buns recipe on walmart.com, while in-store demos showed her how to play. And Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter spread the word about the fun of the Oreo buns recipe. What did all this fun end up doing? In just four weeks, working nationally and with tailored customer-specific programs for retailers, and by reaching shoppers on every touchpoint of the shopping journey, we re-energized the brand and got shoppers to lift the cookie category and buy, buy, buy Oreo cookies. And it all started with a little fun, getting Oreo cookie twisters, lickers, and dunkers to twist and lick and dunk and cook and stack and bounce and chop and decorate and play with Oreo.